Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, may I beg you not to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Ricky Chopper intense and his father gets exposed at the same time. Flipper Mafia gets a serious warning after being released from prison early. Funeral health for a female rapper who was killed in Houston recently. Shensia accused of dissing Spice and others after they got featured on Little Miss Remix. Beanie Man addresses Joshi. Massacre and Agent Sasko in his recent interview. Futa Hype style Aisha. Shana while wanting Dovey Magnum and London Hill verses to be removed from Little Miss Remix and a Jamaican Kingpin loses over half a million dollars in assets to the Jamaican government. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a girl, Shensia, who is now being accused of being jealous of Spice and all of them who got featured on Little Miss. And the reason why they accuse Shensia of being jealous in people is because Shensia make a post on her Twitter page. Now, before me even show her the post, I am not confirming that this is true. I am just going off of what people is saying and the comments them where people are left because, of course, you know me, I'm going to show the comments. And the way all me know about this post was actually over upon pink wall me see them actually post it and them run gossip ups and go over upon um shensia twitter page you see me because them screenshot it and post it or somebody send it in or whatever i'm gonna go upon shensia page i'm realize say, yo a lot of persons were reacting to that particular post she makes some other posts to you know but nobody now pay that pay them then no mind you understand this one got over a thousand retweet and comments and all type of things are going with the post here you understand people and she not any name so we don't have no confirmation of who she talk about or what she talk about but the people them no care anyway people shensia made this post i'm glad i don't kiss ass yes me now when people see the post them start react to it and i say shensia bitter because she not dip on the um little miss remix and she attack like they the dance all artist them them a kiss ass basically for end up on the track. You understand me? I say my people. So a lot of persons as me say react to it. On the need for go check out the comments them because I couldn't me now can read all of them. But anyway, let me get into the ones them when we end up a screenshot and things in people. Somebody say, just say you mad you wasn't on the fine nine. Fake acting like you love Nikki when we all know you really love eleven faces. That's why your career on decline. Bra ha ha. Jano star. Somebody says Shensia, who you referring to? Your mad wap 2.0 flap like the rest of your career. I'm tired of your F list celebs throwing shades, then acting innocent when SB come for you. Somebody says, sis, you're signed to the same label as Nikki. No way you should kiss ASS when y'all on the same ground. It's giving jealous much. This is for the small people. You are the big thing now at international level. Come do what Nikki did for the culture. So they must say, um, Shensia post, you know, it kind of give off a jealous vibe and stuff like that. Yes, me. Somebody say, girl, you envy spice. Nobody wants you here in the US. You're just red and pretty. Nothing else. None of those girls kiss ASS. You collab with Kanye and you still flop. Nikki is the queen of rap and spice is the queen of dancehall. You stray away from your roots and you will never be, be a famous R&B singer. Why, oh boy, on a seat. An next person said, delete this. It makes you look bitter over collaboration. Somebody say, you always been jealous of Spice. You thought because you was light skin, you was going to get a pass, but it didn't work like that. So you, you know, start going down and London on the track and that still, that still didn't help you. The joke right themselves. Somebody say, you sound like the jealous one. Shen, looks like you're struggling too. You're uneducated. Boy, they are. I don't want to read some of them comments here. Do you know? Um, I'm going to move on to our next one. Our next person say, when has giving people their flowers turns to turn to kissing ASS for crying out loud? Yes, my people. So as me say, people are react to it, you know. I am not saying that she's dissing anybody. Me just make you know where the people them must say over upon her page. So when you can go over there, go check it out. And I guess it's because she write this obviously after the collab come out. I guarantee you if she did write this three weeks ago or a month ago, people wouldn't have paid no mind. So sometimes it's when you write certain things make the internet get crazy and all of that. So when you can go check out the rest of comments them for yourself and thing. The amount over there. Anyway people let me know if you don't feel like Shensia jealous that she didn't get featured on the fine nine the, the little miss remix. Leave it in the comment section, all right? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Footer Hype, who went live on his YouTube channel to basically play 
his version of the Little Miss remix. Now, his version, it doesn't have Dove Magnum in it, and it doesn't have um, Lady Lusher, because Futa I basically cut them out tight, and him same now go play for them part, like when him their party or events and stuff like that. Because I don't know Futa Hype, same now support the, 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 the freaky things and all of them things. Now, you understand? Me even see Mr. Vegas I call out Futa Hype because, you know, I want Futa for low Dove Magnum and thing. All the people basically are pick up fear and thing. Yes, my people, but Futa Hype actually asked the people them while he was on Instagram, not Instagram, YouTube, see, he asked them, you know, who them feel like he would have put on it in replacement of the two females them we want for come out tight, you understand? I don't know people are guessing, <laughs> basically, Aisha and name name comment and thing, and Futa say, una idiot. I'm going to take off them and go put on somebody worse than them. And of course, I know so that is because Aisha and I do the equal rights song and thing and thing. Yeah, people, but foot type say would have basically replaced those two females with um, Gaza Slim and the girl named Chanel Muir. Yes, yeah, my people. So, you don't know Futa Hyper give his input as to which artist should I re replace them because him not like the verse them with them come with as it relates to the whole of freaky things and stuff like that. But, I mean, I understand what I'm saying now. I listen to the Magnum part and our part sound all right to me. That is just my personal opinion. You understand? But, for him now, him no want them things that he night none at all. Him no want to hear about that and I can't really blame him. You understand? At the end of the day, a righteousness him a deal with and we have to at least big him up for that. You understand what I'm saying, my people? But the question more I asked to you know, where do you think about what foot of hype though? I don't feel like it was called for because I know really and truly Dove Magnum must feel a way because you got to play the whole song in our dance where people have got a vibe to it and them now go hear fear part. I mean, no say enough girls love fear part, you know, because it's talk about oh, our thing, little and tiny and yo. She have a little vibes that go on with a little part. I mean, I like people, but I don't know. But otherwise from that, the song are going good. I know it's going to reach a million views by at least Tuesday. So, you know, hopefully we'll look for some more collab with all of the females. Them, You know, we now look for the negativity we surround this. We'll look for the positivity and stuff like that. You understand me and some people? So, big up all of the ladies, them with the pan this track. We we'll definitely do a good job. You see my people? And since we even talk about Dove Magnum, Zane, I see Dove Magnum make a post on our Instagram status. As it relates to like the whole of negativity and you know like people are running with certain things and she also address dancehall artists King Zin people so may I get to the post of Dove Magnum magazine so she say I love King as F I would never ever diss him real talk people who knows me know I F hard with him because at times he's my alter ego y'all really crazy and love to run with only the negative months ago when my twitter page was hacked i publicly post and told y'all it was hacked and even issued an apology around that time my ig page was gone even my tiktok page they came after i would love if y'all run with the positive too i know my problem is to fight back but i'm done with that i will let jesus continue to do that for me you see, my people, so that's what Dove Magnum have to say, you know, she want people to run with the positive things, same way and stuff like that, which you don't know me if I agree with her still, because sometimes we get caught up with the negativity and we run with it and we don't know them things they spread quicker than even the positive things. That is just the sad thing. You see what I say, my people, but I don't know, let me know when you think about what Dove Magnum has say. As it relates to, you know, she loves King and she now got diss him. That made me even wonder if somebody put out something says she diss King. I don't know people. Let me know anything about this anyway in the comment section, is it? So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Flipper Mafia who was recently released from prison. And Flipper Mafia is getting a warning say for ensure him not go back at the same thing we him did do. You don't know me and talk about Zane. Now him also get a warning say certain people who him used to link with like selectors and all of them things there. All of them, he must watch them because they turn them back on him and basically stop playing music and all of them things. They see me. So, I play this video and only can tell me if you agree with what this person is saying in the comment section. You see it? So, listen to this, my people. That you came out, you understand? And we know so you come out and you come back to something good. We know so you come back and you have some papers where you can buy food and things like that. I hope while he was in jail, you look into your life and realize that the people them that was around you was never your friend, they was never with you, they never support 
anything good that was going on in your life, them support all the negative. And when you went to jail, a lot of people, a lot of people was happy. A lot of people were feed. They was happy that you went to jail and they was happy that you're in there. A lot of them never remember you when you're in jail. A lot of them DJs were used to give you money to play your music and support them show. Them forget about you. You know, yeah, none of them are playing no song. You understand? They don't play any music and support your music while you were there. They forget about you. It's like you went under the radar and then they went under the radar and started supporting you as you was the breadwinner for a lot of them. You understand? I couldn't tell when last year, year a, 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 a flipper mafia song. Clear. I understand I make them who them is to the date. All of them are hypocrite. All of them. From foot I go right down. All of them are hypocrite. Then none of them never remember you. And now you come a road. All of them are say, boy, them glad you come and them glad you come and join your star, them mission. At again, all of them are hypocrite. All of, all of them has the word. You understand? Combabulated termite insect them. Right? And um, see what I go on in Jamaica where the government have take away um, some of your asset, right? And take away some of your asset and freeze some of the, some of what left. You understand? But guess what happened? You live, you go to jail, spend your time, and come out, and you come out stronger. You understand? Just no make. The same decision again. That the, those days. Are All right, my people. So I'm pretty sure Flipper Mafia will not be looking that direction anymore. Flipper Mafia has grown a lot, and him get more mature. And you understand, the man got a prison gonna make you sight and end up getting degree and them thing. So big ups to Flipper Mafia. But you don't know a whole lot of people are going run in no one. You know, people are going to just want. You might have to just know him, though. That's all I'm mean. saying. No, who you even associate yourself with. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now I'm going to talk about a video where I'm seeing people. Uh, originally, I never really did talk about this, but I see a whole lot of people are talking about it. So I just say, yeah, well, I'm just shed my two cents on it. And basically, he's a brother with a man named, I think him named G British or something like that. Zane. And him basically attack some things as it relates to Ricky Chopper. Intense and intense father. You understand what I'm saying, people? Now, before I play the video, I just am making a know say I am not confirming anything that this person is saying. I am not agreeing. I am not disagreeing. I am not saying his lie. I am not saying the truth. I just a play a video where they on the internet. You understand? Everybody nowadays wants to go viral. So I don't know if that's the case or if what he is saying is actually facts. But only can determine that for yourself if you believe it. As my people, listen this. Remember, you. Ricky Chopper, you claim say you're the wickedest thing in you know, this. Remember, say your song get take away a heart for the West Mullan, you know. With Turbo Fanny and them, you know, and a daisy of a call and beg for that, you know. You understand me? I say you can't instigate no badness to me, Mr. G. British. And then your system dog, them call Chris, govern golf. You see me? I remember, say them read a file, pan your pan your thing, pan rainbow now. You see me? Say you're gone to the low, John. Real system dog, you just get up on a bark bark and flap all your own self. You see, say a real system dog. And when me, Mr. G. British talk, when I respond to people, intense, you know, no bad man, you know. Remember, me, Mr. G. British, a intense system dog, friend them. When me, Mr. G. British talk, when I respond, you know. Because remember, say, when intense come away, come a Saint Elizabeth, you know, and him a perform, you know. Remember, say, some high power foxy father get, you know. I intend to dead around their work. So as we say, I know 100 badness and 87 badness. And we are not in farmer like some man that sing about chopper. And talk about chopper like that. I want to set up get a youth. We love every get a youth and respect every get a youth. If you have a crown or have a Mark X or have a Benz from out of the ball game, you see me? So when I tear down you youth, you know. But some police step on the thing and I watch out the thing. I know the thing come down so. Man, just be careful in that ball game here, because we have a system dog like Ricky Troop for them. We bark, 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 and foot a hype. Real foot, foot a hype, real system dog to the box them we ain't get. All in job one fuck shop. Me, Mr. G. British, said that. And there's no joke about that. 
You see me? And I want to do this and I hate this stuff and this, you know. The world know. And if a boy violate and I can't shoot him at the same time, I send him on and eat the truck. You understand me? And you know the business come down. All right. The one question I have to ask still you know, people, how comes if all of this is true, how we not hear nobody as a talk about it, especially as it relates to intense father and them thing. The how we not hear nobody else. Cause the first me I hear about them thing, you know. If me never see like whole heap people, well me they actually see the video on TikTok and then me see whole heap people are talk about it and thing, is it me? So, you know, me never really hear nobody as a talk about them thing that happened to the artist father and the artist and them thing. And I'm not saying that it is a lie, you know. Because at the end of the day, none of them not immune to it, especially if you're going on man area. Anything is possible, but as I said, I never hear nobody as I said them thing here yet. But one can determine if you believe it or not, or if you feel like say, I just make up story. And I said, I say, people, leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about a female rapper who was conned up recently in Houston, you know, passed away and all of that. And the funeral actually kept for her yesterday. And she go by the name of Lotta Cash Desto. Lotta Cash Desto. Yes, my people. And she is affiliated with the rapper named Little Uzi Vert. I know one is supposed to be familiar with him. You understand, people? But it does seem like them did make a lot of people know about this funeral. Because if I never see somebody post it, I would even know about it. I wonder if they're afraid if they put it out there. Maybe some, you know, man might pull up there with broomstick or whatever. Because I don't know if she was affiliated with any gangs or anything like that. But anyway, people. You know, me just want me to know, say, yo, the funeral kept for her yesterday. So I was supposed to watch my video when I actually me to know when time the situation did happen to her and thing and thing. You see me? Very sad situation at that. Because we see the rappers them, it kind of seem like they are becoming a target. Because as of 2022, the amount of them will end up get canned up, you understand? We talk about PNB Rock, which we talked about him recently. Jada Youngin, Trouble. And some other artists, you understand me and some people, but you don't know. Some of them, as I said, they might be affiliated with certain things, so you don't know how that go. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Beanie Man, who was speaking about um, Jashi, Agent Sasko Massacre as some of his favorite dancehall artists and he actually revealed that in a recent interview. You understand what I say, people? So let me get into this story so I understand what's going on. So this is what the story I say. Beanie Man shares who he's listening to while driving. Dancehall star Beanie Man has shared that Massacre, Jashi, Agent Sasko and Yaksta are among some of his favorites he listened to while he's driving. Speaking with Rhythm FM, Ramona Samuels, Beanie, who capped a white Mercedes-Benz SUV last year, said he was a supporter of authentic dancehall music. Me have artists that I listen to like Massacre. He dropped an album last year that did well. Agent Sasko, I'm an artist. I'm a young artist at Jashi because I'm actually a DJ. You have enough of them artists you are DJ and I make music for them own style. But me is a dancehall artist. Me have to support dancehall 100%. He said, you have Bush Lord, Yaksta. So I have a few artists when I do listen to, like when I actually play them in my car. He continued. Then you have artists when I bust when I listen to. You have Twinkle Brain. Then I have Mona Road Crew and some young artists and Skeng's London Dan Dan and my song that. Contrary to the popular notion that Beanie Man does not give young artists an opportunity to shine, Beanie Man lauded members of the Wolf Pack on their recent collaboration on the track titled Mona Road. Sima, Beanie Man's upcoming album is expected to be released this year. The album is complete. Everything is finished and fans will get it for this year, the DJ recently said. Labels are fight for the album. We are in a label battle right now, so we just need to choose which label we are work with and move from there. Beanie is currently in Toronto, Canada for the Fruition Music Expo with Alkaline and Diane set for Sunday, October the 9th. You see me? And that was yesterday, my people, so you know said that gone already. Anyway, that's our Beanie Man of say. I'm telling us some of my favorite young artists, them Felicito, Skeng, the um, Jashi, them, you know. Well, you know, say Agent Sasko, a big artist, so he's not in the young category, but he's still rating, man. You don't know the thing. Yaksta, 
is another good artist as well. And Beanie Man, you know, him have others who him listen to and stuff. Maybe him can't remember everybody half of the top of him head, but that is some of them who him can't remember. You see my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a story about a kingpin losing how much million dollars worth of things in a Jamaica. You understand me? I see my people over half a million matter about, you know. So let me get into this story. Why people have money at Jamaica, you know? Anyway, so it say, Jamaican drug boss lose five hundred million dollars assets portfolio could forfeit another five hundred million dollars in properties. A Jamaican drug boss who amass a one billion dollars portfolio of assets that include more than two dozen luxury homes and cars has lost half of it to the government and financial investigators have already gone to court and obtained a restraining order that blocks Andrew Hamilton, a convicted drug dealer, from liquidating the rest of his assets, which include another 14 multi-million dollar homes, a penthouse suite and two apartments nestled in the upper-class neighborhood of Narbrook, St. Andrew and a mansion in Ironshore, St. James are among some two dozen assets worth a little more than 500 million Hamilton recently forfeited to the government in compliance with an order by the Supreme Court. In total, Hamilton gave up 14 homes, including six apartments in the gated Monte Carlo Isle complex on Seaview Avenue and also in St. Andrew, four motor vehicles, four bulldozers, a fishing vessel purchased for $19 million, and a bank account with $19 million. All the assets were acquired between 1998 and 2009 and registered to Hamilton. His relatives, including his elderly mother, friends and associates, according to the Financial Investigation Division, which sought the four-feeter order. The FID is the agency that enforces Jamaica Proceeds of Crime Act, the legislation crafted to deprive criminals of their ill-gotten gains. The court order ends a 10-year legal fight by Hamilton to hold on his assets, which FID confirm are already in the possession of the state. Still, there are doubts among top law enforcement operatives that financial investigators know the full extent of Hamilton's asset portfolio. He is notorious for hiding his assets in other people's name, said one operative who requested to remain anonymous. The FID is currently managing over $1.8 billion in assets forfeited to the government, including real estate, motor vehicle and cash, and over $1 billion in assets that have been restrained by the courts. Hamilton case is the largest assets recovery order obtained by the FID and should serve as a warning to others who are engaging in criminality. Keith Darian, Principal Director of FID, told the Sunday Gleaner, What this clearly demonstrates is that you are not too big financially for the FID to use poker against you. Once we believe that the assets were obtained from crime, Darian said during an interview on Thursday, This is a strong message we are sending that irrespective of your wealth or status, we will do our appropriate investigation to strip you of all those ill-gotten gains, he said. While lauding the work done by the United States and law enforcement partners and the agency lead attorney Carolyn Hay to untangle a very complex case, Hamilton, a former Jamaican cop and postal worker, landed on the radar of local authorities after he pleaded guilty to money laundering and conspiracy to deal in Ganja in a U.S. court in 2012. He was sentenced to four years in prison in February 2014, record show. Following his, US con following his conviction, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency requested a civil investigation into his assets in Jamaica. You see, my people, so I don't go on power, what I go on, and at the end of the day still, you see, when you're involved in a certain things, any card can play. But you see, some of them people, I'll uh, tell you what the problem with them. Greed. You see, greed is a hell of a thing. Some of them people are done rich and them have how much money and them still can come out of certain things. Even though there's a saying, you know, once you're going to certain things, it's not easy to come out. And when we say not easy to come out, and I say, you know, not want to come out, you know. If you try to come out, then trouble are going to reach you. You understand what I mean? I say, so, you know, that's why it's good for us to walk the straight line and nobody go over the narrow part. You understand what I mean? I say, my people. Anyway, I don't go on for what I go on. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.